guys, Simon and Alex here from Top Tennis Training and today we're going to look at the serve. Especially we get asked a lot of questions about how to improve the power on the serve and so we wanted to bring this video for you to uh, have a look at that. So me and Alex both agree that the biggest thing to get more power on your serve is by using your legs explosively to drive up because the power starts in the legs. Once you have a good leg drive, the energy is transferred through the core into the trunk and then that goes into the arm into the racket. So guys, the more explosive your leg drive is, the, power, the more powerful your serve will be. So we're going to show you two examples. One where I'm using my legs and one where I'm not using my legs. And you guys can see the difference. And we're going to show you a drill that you can do to get more explosive power from your legs on the serve. So let's take a look now. So the first one that we're going to show is me using no legs. And this is something that's a common mistake, especially with club level players where they actually get down for the ball and there's not enough drive up, but they end up stepping through the shot. Guys, this is Alex not using his legs and pay close attention to his contact point. Notice where it is. And Alex is still trying to hit it as hard as he can, but without using his legs. And now Alex is going to use his legs to drive up as quickly as possible. Okay, now we're going to see Simon not using his legs. He's got a slightly different technique to me, where he actually doesn't slide the back leg forward, but he leaves it where it is. So I use the platform stance, and Alex is using the pinpoint stance. So you'll see a big difference on the serve. Let's have a look. And now we'll have a look at Simon using his legs and driving up to hit the ball. With all the professional players, using that leg drive forward is very important. So most of them will land inside the court on their left leg. We're going to use a drill to demonstrate that. I'm going to be trying to get over this hurdle into the court, trying to avoid touching it to make sure that I'm driving enough from the ground, getting that lift, and hopefully get a good shot on the, on the ball. Let's do it. So this is progression one. This is an easier hurdle, not too high. And guys, once you get good at doing it over a small hurdle, you progress on to the next one, where you're doing it over a higher up hurdle. Still focusing on landing inside the court, which will also give you an advantage. If the ball's shorter, you'll be further inside the court. You can step up and take on the short ball earlier than if you're landing on the baseline. So play around with it guys, try and see how little arm you can actually use. Keep a very smooth arm rather than trying to muscle it and use that leg power to drive the ball, which should give you good results. And guys, the big thing is when you're doing it over a hurdle, you don't want to throw it on the baseline, otherwise the energy is going just upwards. You want to throw it slightly inside the court so your energy is going forward and upwards at the same time. So guys, I know the importance of this because I saw the results myself. Having played on the tour for many years, um, my serve was always limited to probably around 120 mile mark. Uh, and then I actually used these drills to try and make my legs a little bit stronger and drive up a little bit more. And that's increased my serve to probably around 130, 132 or hit in, in a few tournaments. So it's, uh, it can make a really big difference uh, to your serve. So guys, there's one more progression to this drill. It's landing. And as soon as you land, being ready for the next shot to come to you. So it's one thing hitting a big serve, but you have to be ready to capitalize on the weaker return. So that's where the split step as soon as you land comes into play. So Alex is now gonna hit the serve, land inside the court and split step as quickly as possible. And from that position, he's ready to take on the short ball straight away. So again guys, huge thing, hitting a good serve is one thing, being ready for the return is another thing. Something to note, when you are serving a second serve, it's not always that you have to do a split step inside the court, you can also have a backward split step, so when you're landing, you may want to 
backtrack, back up a little bit and give yourself a little bit more time where the person might have hit a, a good return. And sometimes on the second serve, especially in the modern game, when you have good returners, you're going to get a, probably a return into your feet. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you'll learn from this video how to get more power on your serve using your legs, which is the key. And if you did like this video, please click the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you really like this video, share it with your tennis friends. And thank you again for watching.